Well, I was reading an article the other day about soft skills. Mm -hmm. And I know that you compiled a list of 107 soft skills. Yeah, that, that's too many. <laughs> that's too many. That's too many. It's, but that's what you came up with, that's right? What I, I mean, after 18 years as a master soft skills trainer and a professional speaker, I've spoken to over a million people, so I've always tried to compile a list of these skills. And I, I stopped counting when we got to 107. That's ridiculous. So in this article, I found it interesting that they listed a driver's license as a soft skill. A what? driver's license? Oh, so I'm taking it that wasn't in your 107. No. The driver's license is a thing. You know, the person, what is that, the nouns, the person plays the thing. Driver's license is a, a thing. <laughs> it's a, it's yeah. a card. It, it, it's not a skill. Well, th that's what they had listed. That's what they had listed on there? Yeah, a driver's license. I don't know about that. But I, I can see how getting your driver's license might require you to use soft skills. I mean, most of our everyday tasks, whether it's professional or on a personal note, they require us to exhibit all types of uh, soft skills. So I can understand where the person who wrote that article or made that list or whatever, I kind of understand where he or she is going, but I don't think the driver license itself is a soft skill. People get out of hand with this thing, trying to call everything a soft skill. That's not how it is. Matter of fact, uh, soft skills, you might not even know what a soft skill is. Yeah, why don't you tell them out? <laughs> okay, so a soft skill, I could give you a bunch of examples. People love to say well, soft skills are things like communication and leadership and conflict management. Yes, those are examples of soft skills. But here's a simple little definition that I came up with because I like to make sure people, especially young people, can understand what they are looking for so they can identify these skills on their own. So soft skills are your personal abilities that help you complete tasks and facilitate effective interactions with other people. In other words, soft skills help you get the job done and get along better with other people. Okay. So we got all kinds of soft skills and a driver's license. As, as a matter of fact, so you, you, you have your driver's license, right? Yes, I do. You, can you drive? Think it is because you got your license. Don't mean you can drive. But well, can you drive? Yes, Al, I can drive. Okay, that's good. All right, so when you got your driver's license, did you go to driver's ed? No, I actually read the book. You, you, you like the little, you actually yeah. read that thing. I read the book. And okay, then one, you read the book? Yeah, and then one day I went to my dad and I said, let me borrow your car. And he's like, you don't have your driver's license? I said, I'm going to go get it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Well, that's possible for a second because I'm still stuck on it. I wish one of my kids was, hey, let me borrow the car. What? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so let's take a look at some of these soft skills that are coming out already. All right, so she had self-discipline because she actually took the time to read the book. All right, she, had, she took initiative because she went and got the book, but also she went and said, Dad, hey, let me borrow the car because I need to go take the test. So we're already looking at two soft skills. That is, uh, that are, they are so, uh, dis self-discipline and initiative. Okay, let's keep going from there. So and he gave me the keys. He was laughing. And of course, I had my friend with me who had her driver's license. Okay. And so we went. So y'all went, that's a little yeah. teamwork collaboration. Okay. Yeah, but I drove, <laughs> right. I had my permit and I drove up there. Okay. And um, so I had to take a written test. Okay. And part of it was verbal. Mm -hmm. And so they had me look at signs and I had to identify the signs. Okay. And I remember, I didn't quite remember what it is. It's actually called a merge sign, but I told it was coming off the ramp. <laughs> you done made up your own sign, coming off the ramp sign? They, they went with that, because that's what a merge. I'm coming off the ramp, I'm coming, that's okay. what it is. So, you, so you, normally a see a, you normally see a merge sign when that's you're coming means, off, going right? into a freeway, or you merging in. Gotcha, so she couldn't remember, but that's, she showed a little bit of creativity, problem solving, and innovation or ingenuity. She came up with her own term that let people see that she could still understand what was going on right That's okay correct. so this is what you told the guy give me do the driver's exam yeah so then um, when it came time for actually doing yeah. the driving um, the only uh, criticism he had was um, I was floating through stop signs you floating. know what you know floating what do you mean by floating? I wasn't coming to a complete stop oh you know what floating is, don't you? <laughs> don't act like she's the only one floating through south side. Do you always come to a complete stop? <laughs> okay, we know a lot of people don't. So you got some criticism right there. How did you handle that criticism? I just said, okay, thank you, sir. And then we came to the next. Well, that was at the end. Okay. But you know, I'm gonna tell you this, Al. When I think back to uh -huh. that, if I had the parallel park, I probably would have flunked. 
You, <laughs> you would have did good with the parallel parking. He didn't ask me that. Okay, but where I grew good. up, Denver, uh -huh. we don't really have the parallel park. Okay, well, that's fine. But, you know, I don't know about these other cities, like maybe San Francisco, right. New York. Yeah. That's where I think it's important. Well, that's okay. A lot of people can't parallel park. Let me ask you this. Do you, do you still float through the stop signs? No. See, that's good. See, she took her criticism, and now we got one less dangerous, crazy driver on the road. <laughs> okay, well, you so know what? Good. I don't really flow now because people run stops. They, they right? do. And, and that's I'm definitely not, true. Yeah, I'm not trying to get in there. It's about safety. But, yeah. Right. Okay. So now you're like, Al, okay, Doc Lee, where y'all going with this thing? You're playing around with the driver's license. What we're trying to show you is that this is a simple little exercise you can do with yourself. We just took one regular activity that, that people have to participate in. You could do the same thing with class or anything else like that. Uh, Especially. To refer to employment employment that's you right. need a lot of soft skills for soft employment skills. actually to get the job and to keep the job that's right and also if you want to navigate your career that's soft true. skills are very important that's true it's very very important and